Oh, hi, yeah. It's me, Dennis Hopper. <laughs> Hollywood. Whew. I'd kill for a bus right now. I gotta get out of here. Place will make you crazy. This film I just finished, Speed, something about making that movie just put me over the edge. Me. Explosions, chases, stunts. I mean, after all, a bus is just a bus, right? Action, everybody! We're doing action! Everyone on this side of the bus. On this side of the bus as far as you can. Now! People So, now you know what a bus looks like once a Hollywood crew gets a hold of it, huh? Me, I got a little surprise for the passengers of this rig. And if you knew what was happening, you wouldn't be sitting so close to your TV set. So why all the bomb squad gear, huh? You'll find out. Dennis Hopper's a bomb guy who uh, plants a bomb on this this like elevator in like this building. As he's bombed the main cables and it's resting on the emergency brakes, but he says that he's got bombs on that as well, and he's demanding three million dollars. It's rigged to blow up if they don't give me the money. All right, gentlemen, what we have here are 13 passengers in an express elevator. Below floor 30. What's our clock? He gave one hour. That leaves us 23 minutes exactly. Anything else that'll keep this elevator from falling? In the basement. You're introduced to uh, Jack Traven and Harry Temple. I'm Jack Traven, and uh, Jeff Daniels is playing Harry Temple. All right, pop quiz. Airport, gunman with one hostage. He's using her for cover. He's almost to a plane. You're 100 feet away. Jack's kind of a renegade. Shoot the hostage. What? Take her out of the equation. Go for the good wound, and you can't get to the plane with her. Clear shot. Deeply nuts, you know that? Jack breaks rules and Harry kind of goes, you know, your luck will run out someday. Hold it! Pop quiz, hot shot. Terrace holding a police hostage. He's got enough dynamite strapped to his chest to blow a building in half. Now, what do you do? Though they think that the uh, the bomber is dead. <laughs> We ultimately find out that he's not dead, and he comes back to both haunt Jack and uh, pull another job. I'm watching this one bus blow up, and I, uh, the phone starts ringing, and it's Dennis Hopper, and he's saying, There's a bomb on a bus. Once the bus goes 50 miles an hour, the bomb arms itself. And if it drops below 50, it will blow everybody up on the bus. You try to take any passengers off the bus, I will detonate it. I want my money by 11 a.m. And me, by this time, has found out that 
it's our bus that's the next target, so he has to get on the bus. Are you insured? Yeah, why? No, no! Oh, shit. I'm at the wheel, and Keanu's directing me to some place where we can manage to keep the bus going over 50 miles an hour. Stay on or get off. Stay on or get off. Oh. This bus has to go 50 miles all the time on a freeway, and at one point it has to get off the freeway onto Circuit Street, which is, is a bus almost impossible. This is much better. So every time we think we have a solution, there's something else attached to it. Jeez, no, no, no! probably already figured it out, huh? I'm the bad guy. So what about the other characters rolling along in this 50 mile an hour time bomb? Let's take a ride over the set and meet them. Well, come on. Hey, you trust me, don't you? Come on. I think that that's what's nice about Keanu is that he is not the kind of character that we're used to seeing in these kinds of movies. We're gonna die. No, we're not. We got this far, okay? Keanu, you know, has all the talent. He's an incredible actor. He's very physical. He's extremely good looking. And he has all the elements in him to be like an incredible, attractive star. He does what he feels is right, and he says what he feels, and I've really developed an incredible amount of respect for Keanu because he's so honest. No, there, it's really no. kind of ludicrous that yeah. I leave a man with a bullet hole in his chest, Sorry. kind of reclining on a bench. <laughs> Jack and Annie, they just go through such extreme circumstances uh, where they kind of end up depending on each other and, and working with each other. He's always cracking jokes, and he's, you know, because of his training, he's very sort of rigid. Miss, can you handle this bus? Oh, sure, it's just like driving a really big Pinto. I need to know, can you handle this I'm bus? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just tell me what the plan is. Is there a plan? Just for you to drive. We're okay for now. Just keep us above 50. We're very, very fortunate in having Sandy Bullock play the role of Annie. I think we should follow it. I think we should follow it. That's Hollywood. To me, the most important thing was I needed the, an actress who really you could believe that she could drive this bus. You want me to get that thing? Yeah, I'll cue you for the steering ticket because it's going to you know, I'm trying to defuse the bombs, and she's careening through the streets, and she's the heroine. All right, Harry, we're in. Oh, Jesus. God, no! Go left! Ah, sorry! Oh, jeez! Dennis Hopper's a wonderful actor who has done so many different kinds of roles over the years, and yet he's never played this kind of role before. Miss, hmm? you can't be this close. Uh, you need to move back. Oh, no, Jack Traven. Jack Traven, yes. He asked that, that you be brought out of harm's way. Just move right over here. He's bringing to this character a, a real kind of loneliness, tragedy. No! No! Everybody's got their dark side, you know, I'm sure that's his dark side on screen, but he's, he's a really cool guy. Ha, 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 huh? Jeff Daniels is a wonderful actor. Oh. That's our scumbag! Yep. We got him, Jack, we found him. You can get to his place inside of 15 minutes. Great, Jack, I want you to get out of there and sit tight. We're gonna go after the source. Harry has been around a while. He's seen a lot. And these guys are very safety first, and you don't put each other at risk. Are you sure? It'll hold. He's the more experienced officer. Jack is a little more aggressive um, in terms of how he approaches situations. Why did I take this job? Come on, 30 more years of this, you get a tiny pension on a cheap gold watch. Cool. Let's get this straight. Making movies is not fun. You ever spend seven weeks on a bus or sit in your car on the LA freeway with 400 extras to recreate rush hour traffic? Of course, we did get to blow up a lot of stuff. Excuse me, Mr. Hopper. 
Thank you. Now let's meet the talented people behind the cameras, director Jan de Bont and the rest of the speed production team. What can I say about Jan de Bont? This is his first film that he's directed. He's one of the great action uh, uh, cinematographers. And it's been really a pleasure working with him. He's really a good director. It was a little messy. We have to do that fight again. That one punch, yeah. Yeah. Dennis, your hit's still a little, was a little soft, huh? Yeah, I think so. He sees things. You can tell that, that there's a real cinematic kind of director of photography eye going on there, and, and it's been great to watch. He's been around some of the greatest directors, and that's the best, I think, the best lesson you know you can get. I don't think you can get better training. Kiss and it goes on and on and on and on and on, and then you pull back. I wasn't in my country. Is that how you're going to do it? That's what I figured. They're going to do a kiss, got this pan back, the overall view of the city, and this funky music starts playing the back. So it's right, right, right. See, I knew it. But it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I mean, I always felt really very comfortable with actors being a DP, and I always talked to him all the time. You look around you here. Just, just turn around. Just turn around. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jan de Bon. Ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. What are we into here? To me, acting is so difficult. You know, that's, I think, it's the most difficult part of making a movie. It's just before the reach the turn. I think you should three people. We're going to tip over, I'm sure. You know. I think right before we hit the Yeah, but when you get into the turn. That is a dead end. There's a turn. I can't make that turn. You can make it. No. Keep left. No, Keep left. We can't. You make it wide. He's known for just like, you know, he doesn't want the camera tied down. He wants freedom. He wants to move around, and I'm seeing that. He's extreme. He's out. You know, that's cool. It's, yeah, yeah. Let's go. To create more authentic action sequences, the filmmakers called upon the expertise of a police technical advisor. My name is Randy Walker, and the name of our business is Call the Cops. Action! And cut. Okay. We're a police technical advising business. We coach the actors how to uh, hold the weapons properly, how to move properly. I get to wear this really bitchin' SWAT out really cool uniform. I fire a lot of uh, automatic weapons. Get in there! Get in! The production utilized a fleet of 12 buses to fill the special requirements of the script. There's a bus that has no windshield in the front, and then they would have a platform built in front of it, and then they could place cameras. The bus behind us is the process bus, which was used for all the underneath photography. When Keanu is examining the bombs, this was used only for underneath photography. One that was very fast and could do really big stones with. Watch it! A couple to blow up. And then there was another bus where there was a windshield, and the driver was on top of the bus. And then Sandra would drive. I thought, OK, this is going to be nice. I get to sit and drive the bus for a couple of weeks. It's not as easy as it looks. I don't mind doing some of my own stunts, but the ones in speed, they even give the professionals second thoughts. Now this movie is a stuntman's dream or nightmare, depending upon the point of view. Every movie has, you know, like a couple of big action scenes, like three or four, you know, we had Every scene was like that in our movie. We've blown up elevator shafts and uh, had buses going at 100 miles an hour. And today, we're going to blow up the parking lot. Just another day in Hollywood, I guess. <laughs> we have a really great stunt coordinator, Gary Himes, and so it really instills confidence. Right about there, just as you He's a race car driver. And so he has great knowledge of, of moving stunts. A lot of times, we were able to put stunt people on the bus. But the majority of the time, it was the cast. And so if there should be an accident, they'd be totally unprepared. And there's more of a chance of, of people getting seriously hurt. They let us be in the bus on a few of the car crashes. 
and there was one sequence where the bus careened off of four different cars, and, and they let us sit in there for that, and that was cool. When the stunt's going on, you see me stuff in my face. It's the biggest risk I take is with the calories and the fat. I attempted to film really close with my camera with the actors. Dennis Hopper and Keanu Reeves had to do almost all the stunts themselves. I'll have a fight scene on top of a, a moving train. We're rolling around on this roof. It's a very physical fight. Um, Jan would ask for another take, and uh, you know, Dennis would just pop right up and brush himself off and say, let's go. We've been running stairs and hauling people out of ele elevators and stuff. 11 stitches right there. Smashed through a door. Some driving and some leaping. Keanu, um, he amazed me. I mean, he was able to do so much of his own stunt work in the movie. For the film's riveting subway chase, a Hollywood visual effects team weaved movie magic. The train goes beyond the normal service tunnels and into a construction environment. So what we've done is to create in miniature that construction environment. As the train picks up speed and derails, it ultimately uh, slams into a concrete column, splits one of the cars in two, and sends one of the cars up onto Hollywood Boulevard. This guy weighs about 150 pounds, and he's going to be doing 15 miles an hour through there. And we've got these cameras right next to the track. You stand by the train? Yeah, train's ready. As the train goes faster and faster, they hit a curve, but they shoot out of the ground and land up right in front of the Chinese theater. The stunt people that I've given specific jobs to, they also have to be well aware that there's vehicles working so they don't just jump out into the street at the wrong moment. That metro rail jump, it was like driving with blinders on. There was a lot of blind spots, especially when I hit the wall, it was a big, a big blur, but I did have some vision. One of Speed's most dangerous stunts took place on LA's recently completed Century Freeway. The bus jump was a challenge of its own. Jack! There's a gap in the road up ahead. It's big. You're kidding! The bus has to jump over a 50-foot gap in the freeway, which has yet to be completed. Jack! Floor. What? Floor. It's an interchange. There might be an incline. Floor it. Fine. With all stunts like that, we spent weeks rehearsing those things. Do you feel comfortable that you could make it by the ramp here? Yeah, as long but, as but, I, but I'll way? back off a little bit before I get right, here. Right, right. Try to get up to speed before right. I get here and then come out of it. OK. Try it. OK, start throwing it down, throwing it down. When we were ready to go, and uh, he was ready to start his almost, I think, three quarters of a mile run up to the ramp, they would put him in the suspension harness. The release cables going to be longer? Yeah, it needs to be at least another. Uh, Years ago, I designed a um, suspension system. A lot of guys were breaking their backs and, and ending up with either back or neck injuries because of on the impact, they get spinal compression. When you hook in, this is always facing out, right? The harnesses come over the shoulders to actually pull him down as this other harness is pulling him up. So you're kind of floating in limbo. Like that, look at that first thing. Jan will literally <laughs> shoot with five cameras for an action scene. It's amazing what he's able to do in that respect. And then the bus comes in. Shoot. I just want to make sure that we have a safety person on every camera. There's four man cameras that I know of right now in the roadway. 
Okay. I've done a lot of these, and then one thing that goes through my mind is something coming apart and impelling me. You know, that's the biggest fear I have when I'm doing those kind of things. Uh, as far as our safety concerns, we have the paramedic up on the ramp over there, and we also have the stunt safety team with fire suits, fire extinguishers, pry bars, and so forth. If I see that there's any problem whatsoever, if for any reason the bus drops a wheel off this side or anything, I'm just going to yell, leave, leave, leave. Finally, after weeks of preparation with the stuntman safely harnessed, cameras were ready to roll. The front end of the bus, when it hit the jump ramp, went further up into the air than anybody had really anticipated. Did you see the bus after we did it? The front end buckled up like that. If I'd been in the regular driver's seat, it probably would have broke my back. To complete the sequence, state-of-the-art computer graphics were required. This is the original frames that we had to work with. Um, the original footage that they shot live. It takes like two, three minutes a frame to get it from the computer onto a piece of film. We're doing uh, three matte paintings that illustrate that whole sequence where the bus is approaching that, that gap, making the jump itself, and then landing on the other side. Oh, God. Jack. To my knowledge, nobody had ever jumped a bus um, the distance and the height that, that we had jumped this one. I think it's one of the most exciting rides they will ever see. We're either going 100 miles an hour, blowing something up, or getting blown up. The audiences are going to be walking out of that theater completely exhausted. You feel like you're caught up on this sort of insane ride that nobody can stop. It's a big action picture. It's thrilling. Pop quiz. You have a hair trigger aimed at your head. What do you do? What do you do? That's it for the making of speed. Rush hour will never be the same. Hey, don't worry, though. There's still a lot of surprises left. For me, I'm blowing this town.